Here's an axe I made a while ago. I call it Diffusion because it's uh, a mix of a Viking battle axe and a modern tactical reaching tool slash what are often called tomahawks these days. So I'm pretty sure this is a 60-61 T6 aluminum sh handle. If not, it's a 70-75 T6. The head is A2. And by the way, I could look up what this is. It's I have it written down somewhere. It's just been a while. So we got a half inch thick A2 bit held in with the bolts, grade 8 bolts or better. Grade 8 in this case. So when you're actually impacting something, it just closes, it just makes this tighter. So the only, um, and then if it gets stuck and you pull it out, you're loading these bolts in tension, which is what they're built for. So the probably the weak spot would be in shear, but I couldn't break this with hand pressure. And I was fairly violent with it, and I weighed 200 pounds. So, so some of the features, you yeah. uh, know, if you narrow a handle, it tends to isolate the vibration, leaving it up here. Got some extra grip up here for finer work. Or, you know, to increase blunt force trauma, whatever. Um, well, you can see it's not got the edge geometry that a traditional Viking axe would. Um, I guess really it doesn't have any of the geometry that a traditional Viking axe would, but I wanted to leave it thick enough through the beard that this wouldn't snap you know, under any normal, uh, or really abnormal use. So initially this was flat ground, 12 and a half degrees per side to zero, roughly, it was a bit of convexity. and. Uh, just looks way better with that grind line gone. You know, it should cut just a tiny bit better, but I did it mainly for the visual. Anytime you're gonna have a thick blade like this and drop it to a reasonable angle at the edge, uh, you're gonna get scratches. Every time you sharpen this, it's gonna be scratched. So, yeah, just don't worry about the scratches. That's just part of the deal. And when you sharpen it, you're gonna get it scratched. And when you use it, it's gonna get scratched. On a lot of my uh, nicer pieces, like at a knife show, they'll have a, a steeper edge geometry, just because I, I can't afford to scratch the finish on them. That's what you get, you know, you want a user or collector, you don't have to use your user. This bolted design allows you to do some other stuff, I mean, really you could, uh, have a custom bolt machine with a spike or a hammer to use as a pawl. You can take this off to fix up any damage. You know, like conceivably there could be damage to the aluminum. Aluminum. This was used pretty hard. It's got a couple of burrs here and there. The other thing you can do is have a multi-position axe. It looks pretty funky, but that was it would give you a little more reach if that's what you're into. There you go, fusion axe. 